All right, everyone. Welcome back to part three, Pokemon Leaf Green Walkthrough. So part two, I just noticed after uploading it, has no audio. That's because my mic for some reason was not selected as where my audio was going, I guess. So now it's back. Um, I went ahead and just beat the trainer in Brock's gym, got up to him. But I also went to the Pokemart. Excuse me. And I bought an escape rope, two repels, and five more Pokeballs. So, just in case you were wondering, uh, that's all I really did off screen besides battle the trainer. He has a Geodude and a Sand Shroom. So, if you care to know that, he's got that. Now, we're going to be facing off against Brock. So, you're here. I'm Brock, I'm Pewter's gym leader. My rock hard willpower is evident even in my Pokemon. My Pokemon are all rock hard and have true grit determination. That's right, my Pokemon are all the rock type. Fwahaha! <laughs> You're going to challenge me knowing that you'll lose? That's the trainer's honor that compels you to challenge me. Fine then, show me your best. And we're challenging Pokemon Gym Leader Brock. The first Gym Leader will face. We've got two Pokemon, a Geodude, and an Onyx. Uh, because we have Bulbasaur, Vine Whip is easily going to one shot Pokemon. So. Oh, and I also battled uh, like three random Pokemon in the Verdian Forest as well, just for a little bit more XP. So. Don't panic too much, it's okay to do a little grinding. I like to just have that tad bit more, you know. Onyx is definitely going to outspeed us. For some reason, Onyx is super fast. I've never understood that. I get that he's a snake, but he's made of rock. I don't think he should be fast. He's heavy. Alright, so we beat Brock, no problem. Bulbasaur is going to hit level 16. So, pretty good. Play defeated, and a Brock. I took you for granted, and so I lost. As proof of your victory, I confer on you this official Pokemon badge. The Boulder Badge. I know I messed up on the dialogue there. I tried to save it as best I could. <laughs> Just having the Boulder Badge makes your Pokemon more powerful. It also enables the use of the move Flash outside of battle. Of course, a Pokemon must know the move in order to use it. We get 1,400 Poké Dollars for winning. And Bulbasaur is evolving. Look at that, Bulbasaur has evolved into Ivysaur. Pretty good. Wait, take this with you. We got the TM39 from Brock. Uh, TMs are technical machines, and in Gens 1 through 4 are single use. Once you use them, they are gone. TM39 is Rock Tomb, and what that does is lowers your opponent's speed. So, pretty good if you have a slower Pokemon, or if you're like Brock, you just have a really fast Pokemon, and you're just spamming that to be a jerk. Anyways, let's head to the Pokemon Center to heal up after the battle and head towards our next destination, which is Mount Moon. And that is why I bought a few repels. I'm gonna buy a few more now that we have more money. I'm not too worried about Pokeballs, like I said. Um, I'm filming this first three parts in consecutive order. So, I haven't picked up any new Pokemon. Uh, if there's a Pokemon, like I said in the first part and I did in the second part, uh, Make sure to comment below if there's a Pokemon you'd like to see me use. Uh, if someone's already commented it, just make sure to like it. That way I know that a bunch of people are, I guess, voting, if you will, for that option. And yeah, way to keep the uh, everyone involved with each other as well as just being involved you know, on the channel, you know. Uh, we can buy eight. I think I'm going to buy three more. And... Maybe five more Pokeballs? Yeah, we'll buy five more. Just to have a nice 15. And that's almost all of our money, but hey, we're a little more uh, ready for the road ahead of us now, in case we get a nice... I'm always scared I'm gonna get a shiny Pokemon, so that's another reason why I got Pokeballs. But hey, look! It's one of Professor Oak's aides. Oh, Cody, I'm glad I caught up with you. Good ass to deliver this. Here you go. And we get the running shoes, finally, yeah. As I said in part two, that was unfortunately not in the final cut. 
Uh, you don't get the running shoes until after the first badge. I might have said in part one. But yeah, first badge is tied to the running shoes. There's a letter attached. Dear Cody, here's a pair of running shoes for my beloved challenger. Remember, I'll always cheer for you. Don't ever give up. From Mom. Look at that, a nice little note as well. And we're now on Route 3. Let's go ahead and, oh, get our first battle here. Uh, this is, uh, this opponent's gonna have a Pidgey, which is super effective against Bulbasaur, if you have that. But, because our Ivysaur is a decently higher level than Pidgey, and just has better stats because of that, it's not too much of a threat. We can pretty much tackle it. It's Gust. It's gonna do a little bit of damage, but not as much as we're gonna do. Oh, it got a crit, as I say that. Hey, we got a crit, but we didn't, we didn't that didn't matter. Crit did not matter. Got 105 XP. And another Pidgey. We're just gonna do a, another tackle run. And don't get a crit. Ah, there we go. See? Super effective, but it did almost nothing. Oh, we missed! So now we're gonna have to go back to the oh, one second. Man. We're hoping not to make a trip so soon. Well, the next guy, he's a bug catcher. Ah, I'm not gonna chance it. We're gonna run to the Pokemon Center, and then after this trip, we'll try to go a few more trainers, you know? Don't want to spend too much time in the episode going back and forth, especially since you can't run inside the Pokemon Center in these games. I know in, uh, I think it was Gen 5, maybe Gen 6, that introduced running in Pokemon Center. I'm not familiar with Gen 6 that much. I played through, uh, I got to the Elite Four in Y, and I beat Alpha Sapphire, and I almost beat Omega Ruby. So, yeah, I don't have much with uh, Kalos. I'm not a, I wasn't a big fan of that. And I think mostly because I didn't have a 3DS at the time, so I was kind of just stuck like Y. As I mentioned in uh, Part 2, uh, Black was like, I spent so much time on Black. I was in 5th grade, I think, and I had like 360 hours, I want to say, at least 349, something like that, in that range, because it's like all I did was play Pokemon Black, all my, like my two friends had it in middle, uh, elementary school, so always got to school early just so that we could like trade and interact pretty neat, we are on the school field trip, and you know, we all as well trade the Pokemon Black. It was pretty cool. It was the first game I ever completed the Pokédex on until Arceus. So, uh, that's why I'm playing through this game. I just want to complete the Pokédex. I want to have that but, uh, on my on my game. But it's pretty easy to... I'm, I play uh, Brilliant Diamond. I didn't play Sword and Shield. I'm going to get it, but I think only for the fact that you need it to get Jirachi and then also to get Shaman. Arceus, you have to have Sword and Not a big fan of that. It's kind of like a fifty-dollar paywall. But, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. And hey, maybe one day I'll give it a try. You know, that could be a, a future playthrough, maybe. If you want to see that, let me know. If you like, you know, it's an actual. Well, I guess we'll call it a playthrough because it wouldn't be a walkthrough. I don't know too much about it. It'd be a more interesting take, more unprepared. You know. And we got this guy. I think he has. I want to say Sandshrew, but I could be wrong. I need to touch it. Oh, Rattata. <laughs> the one I didn't say. Like, there's like five. But, you know. We're gonna use Vine Whip because it's actually an option. Like, you just like need to use this stab and use an option to stick to it. So. Oh! And we're gonna use Tackle. Sends out an Ekans. Ekans does resist our uh, our, our Vine Whip because it's poison type. And you saw that Intimidate is going to cut our attack in half, so we're doing less damage. So this might be a smart time to use power. And we just...
Kind of scary because that means you could definitely one shot us if you wanted to. We're going to use Sleep Powder to hopefully put it to sleep though. There we go. First try and that's 75% chance to hit. You're wondering, Bulbasaur learned, uh, I think he learns both at 14. So he gets both Sleep Powder and Poison Powder. I chose to keep Sleep Powder. Just for catching Pokemon mostly. Uh, not sure if I'll still have it on Bulbasaur by the time we start like actually catching a bunch. Cause I might uh I might do that like post game or I, like let me know if you want to see some. Like maybe we'll do I'll plan some episodes based on what you guys want to see and we'll commit more time to catching Pokemon as we progress. Maybe if you guys want to wait till I have fly or if you want me to go ahead and do it from I guess uh Mount Moon and on and start catching all the Pokemon to see. Entirely up to you. If not, I will definitely, uh, when I get fly, I'll definitely be doing going around and re re catching the Pokemon. Definitely before I beat the league, I want to do that. I feel like if I want to become the champion, I have to have every single Pokemon. Let me really complete my Pokemon. And even the Classic Eater. But hey, as I said, I need Swords Park Poison. So we're not gonna get it. It's just a weak one. And I don't think he's getting stabbed from it. I could be wrong. Could be totally wrong. like driving all the way across town so why not pay someone like 10 bucks even though it's like a $16 upcharge for the meal you yeah, know not really it's like a $6 charge and I guess the tip would be like if I tipped the waitress at the place I was gonna go to you know so I guess it, it kind of adds up it's just like going out to eat but uh without, without the middleman the new middleman but you deal with less middlemen you know after I leave this battle, I think I'm gonna call it a part. One over, one over 13. I just don't want my orders to stuck in too long because we do have a uh, street cats out here, so they might start uh, circling around like vultures. You know? Oh, he's gonna keep using it harder. Well, and you know what? I will definitely end it after this episode. Get some feedback from you guys before we get too far. That way we're not in Mount Moon and can't come back to get Pokemon if you guys want me to do that. And, yeah. I'll see you guys in part four. I'm not ending it here. I know it sounds like I'm ending it. Oh, I guess we are because the battle is over. So what I'll do here is I'm going to go to the Pokemon Center off camera. Might pick up a few more items depending on how much money we have. But, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching uh, part three. Again, sorry about no audio in part two. Uh, it's not going to happen again. I'll make sure of it. Uh, remember to like, comment, subscribe. Share it around with your friends if you think they'll also like it. And again, thank you for watching.